Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing some French ombre nails with poly gel. Don't forget to watch till the end because I'm trying a 3D flower using the poly gel. Of course I'm going to be using the poly gel tool and some poly gel from Tamika. Don't forget to check out the description box because I have a discount code for 10% off your order. The first step is to make sure your natural nails are prepped, however, I have a layer of clear dip powder to protect my natural nails. So I'm going to be doing these nails over top of that. The second step is to apply the base coat to your nails. Once you apply the base coat, you're going to place it under the light for 60 seconds. Then I'm going to be taking some paper forms and the white poly gel. I'm going to place the white poly gel onto the nail form and onto the free edge of my nail. This is the part where you want to get the poly gel as smooth as possible and you want to shape your nail as best you can. This will prevent time spent filing after it's cured. You also want to make sure it's very even, that way you'll have more structure and strength within the nail. After you have your nail shaped and as even as you can get it, flip your nail around and you're going to blend the white into the base of your nail. You want to make sure this line is very blended as it will prevent a harsh line within your ombre. So before you start blending, try to create a very straight line, that way when you go to blend it, it will blend very evenly. After it's blended, I'm going to cure this for 60 seconds. Now it's time to take the nail form off. Now I'm going to take some natural pink poly gel and I'm going to place this around my cuticle area. You also want to make sure you can get this as close to your cuticle as possible without touching. After you do the cuticle area, you want to push the poly gel up to the side walls. After you push the poly gel to the sides and you have a pretty even line, you're going to blend the pink poly gel into the white. If you put too much, you may notice that the pink is going all the way to the tip, which you can take the spatula side of the tool and scrape away some of the pink poly gel. After you have the ombre like you like, you're going to cure it under the lamp for 60 seconds. If you like how these nails look, don't forget to smash that like button below. If you plan to try this method or recreate any of my nail looks, don't forget to comment down below how it turned out or tag me in an Instagram post. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I post new nail tutorials every week. When doing this method with paper forms, you want to make sure that the form does not wiggle around. This will prevent the product from getting underneath your nail and being super annoying. <laughs> I'm going to be doing the same steps to my middle finger, my pinky, and my thumb. For my ring finger, I'm going to be doing solid white because later on I'm going to be doing a glitter accent now. I've been wanting to recreate some nails like this for a while now, but the thought of trying to do this with acrylic definitely turned me off. <laughs> And then there is the method that you can do ombre nails with dip powder, but I've tried that in the past and it did not turn out so well. So I figured I would try this with poly gel. 
I will be trying to do the dip powder ombre in the future, so keep an eye out for that video. Here's a tip. When doing this method, or even if you're using acrylic for this, you want to make sure that the beads of poly gel or acrylic are as even as you can get. This way when you go to do the ombre, it's going to be a very even transition. After all the nails are cured, I'm going to take a hand file and I'm going to shape the free edge of my nail. You can do whatever shape you like, but I'm going for kind of a tapered square look. Once you shape the free edge, you can use the hand file, but personally I like to use an e-file because it's much quicker. I'm going to take the e-file and smooth over the surface of my nail. I will also put the link for these in the description box below. This is how the nails look when all of them are filed and shaped. Now I'm just going to take the no wipe top coat and I'm going to apply this to all of the nails. For a very smooth application, you can buff the surface of your nail with a buffing block to prevent any lumps and bumps. Here's a pro tip. After you apply the gel top coat, flip your hand upside down for a few seconds and this will help level out the gel. Then cure in the lamp for 60 seconds. Here's how they look the next day. So if you guys don't know, I usually do my nails very late at night and I was very tired so I went to sleep. <laughs> so the next day, I'm going to continue this nail design and I'm going to be doing some 3D flowers. I'm going to take the white poly gel and with a very small bead, I'm going to place this on the side of my index finger. After I place this small bead of poly gel onto my nail, I'm going to create a line down the center of the bead. This is going to be the center of the petal. Once you do the center of the petal, I'm going to shape it however I want. You can do whatever kind of flower you like. This was my first time ever doing 3D flowers, so be easy on me. <laughs> Once I like how the petal turned out, I'm going to cure it under the light for 60 seconds. This is because I did not want it moving around while I was trying to create the other petals. You can do as many as you like, just try to map out the area that you want the petals to go in. Learn from my mistakes because I did not quite leave enough room for the last petal so it's a little bit smaller than the other ones. <laughs> This is also another step when you want to make the beads of poly gel as even as possible. 
If you don't make them quite as even, you can wipe away a little bit of poly gel as you work. I am going to do tutorials in the future on different types of 3D flowers. So don't forget to stick around so you can see those videos in the future. So if you're going to stick around, why not just subscribe? I mean, it's free. Come on. Push the little button. <laughs> Then I'm going to be taking some small gems and I'm going to place some top coat in the center of the flower. Then I'm going to put four clear gems in the center. You can put however many you want. Probably should have done three, but I made four fit. <laughs> then put it under the lamp for 60 seconds. Now I'm going to be doing the glitter nail. I just put the top coat over all of the nail and then dip the poly gel brush into the glitter and then placed it onto the nail. I'm going for an ombre glitter, so I place most of the density at the bottom of my nail. As I work my way up to the top, I get more sporadic where I place the glitter. After I cure it, I'm also going to apply another top coat because I like the feeling of very smooth nails and this one was a little bit rough for me. Of course, I felt like this manicure needed a little bit something extra so I'm going to add more bling. I use the same gems that I used for the flower and then I'll place them in a half moon shape around my cuticle. Let me know if you guys learned something new with this technique or if you have any suggestions for future nail art, don't forget to comment down below. Once I did this, I cured in the lamp and we're all finished. Don't forget to apply some cuticle oil. Give this video a thumbs up so I can keep creating more content for you guys. And don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next week. Bye.